In chapter 2, we are going to learn the Java syntax by writing some small Java programs. Go to your desktop or wherever you installed Eclipse and double click on Eclipse. Now you can click on the browse button and select any folder. This will be your workspace. I created a folder in the C drive called Learn Java. I am selecting that particular folder and I will click OK. So this C colon learn Java folder will be my workspace that is all the sample programs will be stored here and I'm going to click OK. You can close on the welcome screen. The very first thing that you have to do is we have to create a project. So let us click on file new and then here select project. Now we want to create a Java project. So select Java project and click next. Here we can give any project name. I'm just going to name this project as first project. Now you can keep everything as it is like use default location and the environment is Java 1.7. Click next and then you can click finish. It will ask you some like do you want to open the Java perspective? Say yes. So now we have a project and if you click here right next to the project you will see that it has a source folder. The SRC means is a source folder where you can store all your Java programs. Now before writing any Java program, let us create something called as a package. A package is nothing but folders in Java. We can right click on the source, click new package and create a package like day1.examples and click finish. Now these packages are nothing but folders in Java. If you want to see the folder structure, you can go to the C drive that learn Java workspace. You can go to the C drive learn Java workspace and you can see that project name first project and under which we see that source folder and under which you will see this day one folder and under which you will see the examples folder. So you can see that the packages that we created there basically created folders for us in the C drive. So once we have created a package, let us create a small Java program. So let us right click on a package, click on new class. Now don't worry about what a class is, we will learn that very soon. But for now remember, if you want to write any Java program, you need to create something called as a class. And let us call this class my first class. Now remember while creating the class name, you need to use a capital letter. The class name starts with a capital letter and then the subsequent words will also have to be capital letters. For example, my M is capital and then first class F is capital and C is capital. There should be no space between these particular words. It should be one word. Also, click on this public static void main. Of course, you will learn very soon about the use of all these things. But for now, just remember to create a class and then select public static void main. Click finish. Now I want to increase the font size in Eclipse so that everyone can see clearly. To increase the font size, click on Windows Preferences. Type in font. Select colors and font basic text font click edit and here you can select a size and click ok now before writing any program we have to learn how to write comments comments are useful in describing a particular program for example i want to say that i am planning to learn java so i want to write a comment so let me delete these things now to write a multi-line comment, all you have to do is put the slash sign, asterisk, press enter. This will be a multi-line comment like this. Now I can write some kind of a description about this particular program. So here you can see that I have written some kind of a comment. These, now this is an example of a multi-line comment. For a single line comment, you need to have two slashes. So here you can see that I have like two slashes and my first statement. It is a comment. You can write a comment anywhere in a class. It is not going to affect your program. Now if you want to print something to the console, the syntax is system dot. 
Now remember the system keyword should start with a capital S and when you put this particular dot you should get some kind of a pop-up. This pop-up shows that this particular word you have typed it correctly. System.out.println Then you open the parenthesis and double quotes and within the double quotes you can type anything you want like say hello world. Now this is the syntax to print something to the console in Java. System.out.println and system starts with a capital S and within double quotes you can type in anything you want. Now you can save this particular program by clicking on the save button here and to run this program that is compile and run this program you can right click here anywhere in the screen click on run as and then click on Java application. Now you can see that the hello world has been printed here to the console. 